Hi uh, guys, Tony here. Today I've got on the podcast the longevity expert, Dr. Neil Pulvin. This is a past episode I've been meaning to air for a while now. We're going to be talking about alpha keto gatorate, and this is a potent longevity molecule. It's in the uh, energy cycle, and there's lots of evidence that it does make a big difference with reversing biological age. Alpha keto gatorate. Are you are you do you use that at all? I cycle it. Um, uh, if it's good it's not great i mean i don't have to put it. i don't know how to put it. i do use it i recommend to my patients it has benefit in terms of methylation again someone from what i've seen data wise is one of the can potentially of the more traditional things out there can have one of the best benefits on um methylation age or whatever clock you're using at this point um i don't want to, there's tons of them out there um it also helps mitochondrial function people use it for hair for again it's amazing that some things always rely around the always will fall back to what the cosmetic improvement for medication is um, more than anything else. So I do use it. I like calcium alpha glutarate. That's where the studies are. So the people, but it's also expensive compared to the other forms of AKG. So it really yeah, does say uh, arginine often it's combined with that as well, isn't it? In some forms. Yeah. Yeah. Um, depends where you're getting it from. But then it's, as you said, it's not the studies aren't really, there's not the same studies level of information on it exactly yeah, there's no real data on a lot of the other ones compared to some people i only will say it works just as well for them they can say that hey my biological age has got better or my inflammation got better my brain fog got better it's just not the data so it depends if you're if you need strict data then you want the calcium alpha glutarate if you're more anecdotal you can kind of go the other way everybody kind of has their own criteria of what they're going to do to choose what they use at this point, which is kind of interesting. Mm. Yeah, and you see, you say you you cycle it. I mean, I I do it kind of just on training days because I do it, yeah, combined with the arginine just mentioned as a kind of like a pre workout. And then, so if I'm doing it, say five days a week, then you've got a couple of days off. It's there. Just do, it started as a weight. It came really popular first as kind of a, a lot of things as a weight, as a, like a pre workout, like you said. As other people who use it as an anti aging stack. So there's that overlap. So people can use it as one or both. If you're doing it as a weight, then you can, people will do it again, three or four or five times a week. I have to become more in an anti-aging fashion that people will do mm-hmm. the, the little bit, some of the little bit of higher dose. I have patients do it for two or three months and then come off and go back on it again. But there are people, there are plenty of people doing it as a weight loss, but not weight loss as a, a weightlifting pre-workout stack. And that's fine too. Mm-hmm. Um, it just depends what you use. I I found workout wise it didn't do anything for me, so I don't use it that way. But every, again, everybody's fight figure out what works for them. Mm. Yeah, and as I mentioned, that arginine is quite quite a lot of people don't respond to arginine, so then genetically, so it's exactly yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And then because um, I'm actually a poor methylator, I've got like um, you know the MTHFR genes, and so yeah, that's and you're saying obviously it helps with methylation, and that's. Something is my uh, omic age. I don't know if you've done yours, and then I'm coming in. I'm like how to do it. I just talked to Hannah from them and from True Diagnostics. So, um, she, I'm going to do it hopefully in the next week or so. The list is just so long with what AKG can do. It can help with obviously slowing down biological aging. It helps with the energy cycle, particularly like boosting athletic performance, especially when combined with L-citrulline. It can uh, help with SASPs, which are senescent associated, uh, like uh, sensory phenotypes. So it uh, helps with cellular senescence, but not necessarily decreasing the senescent cells, but the limiting of those SASP, those inflammatory cytokines. It can boost the immune system, improve kidney health, help with the absorption of iron. Uh, minimize protein breakdown there's just such a long list as mentioned earlier i myself i take it mixed with arginine because i'm a genetic responder to arginine but it's quite common for people to not be a responder and it can actually be bad for your health if you take too much arginine when you don't need it so just be mindful of that so if you haven't tested your genetic response to arginine then it might be worth doing it combined with uh, calcium because you you need either one of these uh, substrates to help with the absorption of it A brand I've been using for years is Time Health and uh, yeah, I've been recommending it to clients too, even across the world, like North and South America. They always comment on how good quality their products are and so they're willing to pay that extra bit of delivery because it's actually really good value. So check out the pinned comment down below with my 15% discount code. 
by all means do your own shopping around but yeah time health is definitely a good quality brand i have no issue with promoting them on my channel thanks for watching and i'll see you next time